Edmontosaurus was an ornithopod dinosaur from the late Cretaceous of Western North America, living from 73 to 66 million years ago. Growing up to 40 feet and weighing over five tons, these duck-billed dinosaurs were one of the last and largest of their lineage. Like their distant cousin Iguanodon, our understanding of these creatures have changed dramatically over time, with the animal originally envisioned as a semi-aquatic herbivore that fed on soft freshwater vegetation similar to modern ducks. However, it is now believed that Edmontosaurus was a grazer, sustaining themselves on low-growing vegetation like horsetails and ferns. They would have used their wide, spoon-shaped beaks to cut off chunks of plant material before grinding it down with hundreds of densely packed teeth. These gigantic herbivores were likely herd animals, with extensive bone beds containing numerous individuals in close proximity. In fact, one site in Wyoming covers over a square kilometer and contains the remains of between 10,000 and 25,000 individuals. Many Edmontosaurus fossils have been found with preserved soft tissue, including numerous skin impressions and a strange wattle-like structure on the animal's head, possibly similar to that of a rooster. It is unknown if this crest was present in all species or if it belonged to both males and females. They lived alongside a great variety of dinosaurs from different regions and times, including Albertosaurus, Edmontonia, Pachyrhinosaurus, Nanoxaurus, Dromaeosaurus, Triceratops, and Tyrannosaurus rex. Edmontosaurus was a magnificent animal, a successful herbivore that dominated the land in great numbers. However, they would ultimately meet their fate along with the rest of the non-avian dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous, marking a tragic end for these beautiful creatures.